Interest rates are hurting your portfolio, and I'm here to explain why. Now, don't be concerned if you know little about interest rates. Many people do not. Even those who believe that they know all about interest rates may need some help in understanding everything about them. Interest is the amount of excess money a borrower must pay back to a lender for the ability or the privilege to borrow the money that they need. You can think of interest really as rent paid to the lender of that money. Often it's referred to as capital. And the ability to borrow capital is critical because there isn't actually enough cash in the world. So interest rates or rent on that borrowed money are a way of rewarding those who have lent out their precious capital to those who need it. All sorts of large businesses such as banks and other financial institutions lend out money as well as individuals and small organizations and retailers. Even if you have ever bought a GIC or a certificate of deposit from a bank or a credit union, you have lent that institution your money. So what or who determines interest rates? Interest rates are determined mainly by a combination of the central banks around the world and the marketplace for borrowed money. In Canada, we've got the Bank of Canada. In the US, they've got the very powerful US Federal Reserve. And these institutions use their influence and their legal power to direct short-term overnight interest rates. This determines how much it'll cost for all of the banks and financial institutions to lend money to each other. But the central banks only determined the interest rate over a very short time frame, literally overnight. So the central banks do not directly dictate the interest rate borrowers are paying over say 30 days or for instance, or maybe three years or what your mortgage rate should be. They do not direct or mandate the price or cost of borrowing except that single overnight rate. But the central banks can exert some influence and what's called moral suasion on the longer term interest rate market by making statements on where they may intend to move interest rates over the short term for that overnight rate in the future. But once that overnight rate is determined by the Bank of Canada, in Canada's case, it is really a marketplace which governs what interest rates are for most consumers on our personal bank loans, mortgages, credit cards, or what interest we can get ourselves on GICs or when we purchase bonds in the bond market. All of that is determined by a marketplace. So what are central banks? Central banks are part of the federal government, but not directly controlled or a part of the sitting elected government. Central banks have two primary direct mandates, which are virtually identical on both sides of the border and are stated in order of importance here. Number one, to keep inflation at about 2%. Number two, to keep unemployment low. This is all they're supposed to do. In fact, this is their only job. And they have, they've both got a lot of tools at their disposal in order to achieve this. The most impactful is that they control the money in our, in, our, in our economy, or what's called the money supply, through monetary policy. Simply put, these are the people who actually control the printing press. Both central banks have miserably failed. With inflation running at or above 40-year highs, something's clearly gone wrong. Thanks for watching. Click the link below to book a meeting with us or subscribe to our channel for more interesting content about the markets and economics.